Hi there. It's time for some facts. Nomophobia is the fear of being without the smartphone. I went to a dinner the other night and one of the first times I've ever been to a dinner in my life with people over the age of like 28 or 30 and everyone besides me pulled out their phone when there was a quiet lull in the conversation. Now this scared the absolute crap out of me. Now in this video, I want to share how to stop using your damn phone so much. So how much sleep do I get? Some doctors oh, work 24 well, hour shifts. In short, it completely depends on the night. So let me back up a little bit. When I'm on call, it's from 7 a.m. in the morning through 7 a.m. the following morning. So when I get into the hospital in the morning, I'm usually just going about my normal day doing procedures. And I usually am done around six-ish or maybe like seven at the latest. Sometimes or usually there's a late case which goes on until like eight or nine and sometimes an emergent case after that. But then I get to go home. About 156 million phishing emails are sent out each day. Joellen Robles with Hillsborough Title says their phishing technology is getting more sophisticated, making it harder to spot. The scam typically comes in email form disguised as your title agent, instructing you to wire funds to close the deal. They take the money and vanish instead. Robles says they've had five attempts just last week. Waking up early reduces stress. Get a 5 a.m and explain why people that wake up early have an insane productivity advantage. So let's get into it. It's no secret that some of the greatest thinkers and achievers have been known to wake up early. For instance, serial entrepreneur Richard Branson who owns Virgin, he gets up at 5.45 a.m. The current CEO of Apple, Tim Cook, gets up at 4.30 a.m. One in three children can use a tablet before they can speak. Around one in three women have ever been beaten or abused. Well, I'm going to give you walk a real life to save. When I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> in these shaking hands is illegal in Haigesund. Welcome to Norway. Listen to this and you will be shocked. This is crazy. There's a place in Norway where they have implemented a new law. And this law is only restricted to this area in Norway. This law states, if you shake the hand of someone, you risk prison up to two years. Gravity boots help to resolve back pain. I felt my whole back just completely stretch out for obvious reasons. And yeah, I've been having some lower back issues for a while and it just completely clicked all of my lower back, which felt really good. And then I found once I got down that all the back pain that I had there was just completely eliminated so quickly. A sneeze can stay airborne for a few minutes. What's the best way to protect yourself if you find that you need to cough or sneeze during the COVID-19 pandemic? With my kids at home, I say use your bat wing. So cover up your cough or sneeze like this. <coughs> and that should protect you. Cats fall at lower speeds. Nurse Brittany Kirk left her window cracked open to let in the morning air. Unknown to her, her cat decided she wanted some of that air too. Crawled out the window and took a 19-story plunge to her death. Wait, scratch that. Not to her death, not even to the morgue or to the hospital. The cat survived with only a bruised chest. But how did a cat manage to survive a 200 foot fall?